Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej and creator of our Africa TV show. All Africa will be part of our show. The CEO of Mac Foundation. We want to support girls' education. No to infertility stigma, yes to girls' education. We want to stop gender-based violence for a stop. Number of child marriage will double by 2050. Hello Africa and welcome to our Africa TV show where we talk about fashion and art with a purpose. My name is Brian Mulondo and here with the CEO of Mac Foundation Center, Dr. Rasha Kelej. She's also influential woman of the year 2019, 2020 and 2021 and the creator of our Africa TV show. Welcome. Hi, Brian. How are you? you? You're looking young. I, and, I look uh, yeah, sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> sustainable use. <Yeah. laughs> so uh, today uh, we're going to talk about, as we always do, mm. we want to have a um, community mm -hmm. of fashion and art with purpose. Yeah. And we raise awareness about different, different topics in the community that we want to advocate for through fashion and art. Yes. Like, for example, ending child marriage, mm. stopping gender-based violence, mm. supporting girls' education, eliminating uh, infertility stigma, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, ending uh, FGM. Yes. So all these topics and more, even raising awareness about diabetes, about oncology, cancer, mm. about different topics of health, uh, healthy life style yeah. today specifically we are going to talk about sustainability absolutely. and how to protect the environment absolutely of course sustainable fashion and art is anything that is created in consideration of saving the environment and uh, the un actually puts uh, a figure of 2.4 trillion dollars every year that is spent uh, by the textile industry. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Fashion actually, as they said, um, for research, contribute to eight to ten percent of global carbon di uh, dioxide emission, and uh, nearly twenty percent of water loss. It means that the, uh, more than aviation and shipment together. Wow. Only to look good and to have <laughs> <laughs> to wear fashion to clothes. Good. Yeah. Yes. So it's of course the trend now is to go to sustainable fashion. Yes. How to reduce uh, and protect the environment? Mm. Not only protecting the environment, but also protecting the people who are working in the fashion industry yeah. for human rights and labor, child yeah. labor, and all these things. Mm -hmm. So this is very very important topic because it's something that we cannot change yes. it has to be there we yeah. have to wear our clothes we have to have fashion but we can take certain measures to uh, make it sustainable and reduce the effect on the environment right not only for clothes but also for decoration and and and, and uh, you know furniture and all this which we also cannot be without right you mac uh, foundation is investing heavily in making sure that you in, know sustainability yeah. happens what are some of the things actually that merck uh, which is the owner of merck foundation also investing heavily in sustainability and we have sustainability strategy yeah. for our production lines and for our people and we are contributing dramatically to change the carbon dioxide footprint okay. but also merck foundation has their own um, uh, initiative yeah. which is sustainability initiative where mm -hmm. we empower entrepreneur and use across africa Africa, Latin America and Asia mm. to come up with ideas that can contribute to reducing the food uh, carbon dioxide footprint, protecting the environment, circular economy, unsustainable uh, fashion and art and decoration and yeah. so on. Yeah. Because it's very important. Yeah. You know, you have to brainstorm and think about different options. Yes. And you look at the pieces we have now in front of us. Mm. It's a piece of art, but it's all collected from something that can waste the environment. It's a recycle. Uh, uh, decoration and, and art, purpose, recyclable yeah. art, mm -hmm. and it's really upcycling. I mm -hmm. can feel it. It's upcycling art, and it's a, a really a good piece. And also for for clothes, yeah, for clothes also you can always uh, reuse 
the older clothes yeah. uh, you, uh, make it in a different like upcycling um, different types of things yeah. uh, also local uh, production mm -hmm. of um, you know uh, waivers and all this uh, many many ideas that can change a fashion into uh, fashion mm -hmm. uh, sustainable fashion and right. reduce the, the uh, uh, effect on environment uh, different things that can really uh, renting fashion yeah what do oh. you think yeah like wedding I dresses that's that's what wow. having hundreds of them wedding dresses every month or but, whatever but you don't want to yes. to repeat the same wedding dress so not you because you're not <laughs> going to marry again you're not going to marry again someone else in a different world will not see we, like we're going to talk to someone who uh, has created this beautiful design yes, right yes, yes. Uh, nana from ghana hi nana <laughs> How are you, Nanu? How oh, are you? He has done you know Nanu from uh, Ghana, and you see, it's all all style. But yeah. we also met in 2019, just before Corona, <laughs> and we had actually um, an interview with many artists uh, who's for um, sustainable fashion and decoration and art uh, from Africa, mm -hmm. and we had a very good workshop. And I will show in the report part of this workshop mm -hmm. to everyone to see. to show our memories of 2019 mm. before Corona mm. and the meeting we have done all together with all the um, artists from Africa with sustainable art. Mm. Do you still remember? Yes. 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 It was it nice? Very nice. Yes. Looks like yesterday, but yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just tell us about what you are doing uh, and to upcycling, um, you know, pieces of art like this and what else you are doing and how this contributes to the environment protection. Okay. Yeah, from where I'm coming from, it's not like a very big topic, but it's very devastating and it's happening. Mm -hmm. yes. So um, what I do is I'm in my little way, I collect work, uh, collect um, pieces is, of yes. uh, that have their yes, own story. Which being, is not, yeah, yeah, which is not that will be burned. Not, yes. Yeah, it, it could be scrapped. Yes, yeah. they are scrapped actually. Yes, yes, yes. They have their own stories. I Sometimes I have a story, I tell it. I tell my story with the pieces, or sometimes the metal pieces and wooden pieces have their own story, and I just highlight it. You yes, know? yes, 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 yes. So yeah, it's great. Uh, we will actually go to each piece and we talk about it and how we do it. But do you train young people and children how to do these things because it's fantastic. I will put this piece in my house. In the house. Yeah. And happily. Yes, I do. We have workshops. I go to schools and then we. We and do. then they use the things that in from their own. Yes, they bring the materials. Yeah, from their, their own house. things mm. that or their parents and then recycle it. And yeah, we built it. We built together. Beautiful things. It has memory as well. Yes. So instead of, for example, old mobile, yes. old TV, old yes. uh, whatever, uh, Sashi, watch, water, watch uh, clock. Yeah. Uh, 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 what else uh, could um, be uh, something uh, old engine or uh, old yeah. car, <laughs> and everything has a, a, a memory. Yes. With your family and yourself, and really upcycle mm -hmm. it in a piece that keep it in your house. Yeah. Beautiful, and instead of buying something very expensive, but it has all your memories instead yes. of it being in the scrap. Yes. Oh, it's yes. lovely. Thank you. Lovely idea. Uh, uh, Nana, describe to us uh, what these images are. I see a horse. Is this a horse? Yeah. Yes. First of all, uh, uh, before we go uh, to describe each piece at the moment, we will have to go for a break, but we will, just before we go to break, uh, uh, what exactly you always uh, like to do? Is it, uh, for example, animals like horses, or mm. you prefer what types of things you? I, it doesn't matter. I work with aeroplanes. No, but what is your favorite and what's your? My my, my favorite thing is like um, women. Um, women. Mm. So what like uh, empowering women and yeah. women in the field. They call me a feminist because I like to highlight the this is good social challenges of the African. This is good because we had an episode about women empowerment, which oh, is yeah. yeah. Which is really good also. So you do something like mothers, yes. children, yeah. in the park, yes. working hard yes. and all like this. Like this piece, uh, yes, this, this is piece. called economic um, health. Mm -hmm. Economic and I health, yes. yeah. 
when the woman you will describe uh, it for us okay you will describe it for yeah. us just hold on a bit so now we are going to go for a break and we'll come back with Nanof and he will describe for us each and every single piece but before we do that uh, Brian we want to invite everyone in the audience to look at our social media mm -hmm. Facebook Twitter mm -hmm. and Instagram and YouTube and the website to see our stories of women empowerment mm -hmm. Testimonies of the doctors who've been provided training and scholarship by Merck Foundation, which is more than 1,300 doctors yeah. per today. And uh, to also see the songs that are empowering girls in education, empowering women, and uh, raising awareness about mm -hmm. diabetes. Story books that also empowering the same, uh, uh, educating Linda, mm -hmm. um, what breaking the stigma mm -hmm. of infertility, supporting girls' education, right. ending right. child right. marriage. Yeah. A lot, a lot of children's yeah. story and apply for what our awards uh, absolutely we have awards in fashion media film uh, uh, songs yes so go and apply and uh, be a part of what we are doing in the so continent. we have filmmaking we have fashion awards yeah. we have songs awards and we have major recognition awards and maybe uh -huh. we do an art for Arts. sustainability yeah. award mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this award is to empower young and uh, young talents and and, and artists and uh, media people in africa to reach their potential mm -hmm. and to have an opportunity to win a prestigious award and be part of the community be the voice of the voiceless, mm -hmm. break the silence about many other topics and be champions of Merck Foundation to achieve our vision. So let us break now and we'll come back. If we want to change the world, education is the key. You see, you gotta learn your ABCs and one, two, three. It starts with you, you wanna get smart Build up that passion in your heart Then you gotta know, education's where it starts You gotta train your mind for a better future Acquire skills so you can be a go-getter You gotta know, education's where it starts You can be a lawyer, a dancer, teacher An architect, designer features Even a doctor If you want to change the world, education is the key. You see, you got to learn your ABCs and one, two, three. Don't you ever give up to be the best that you can be. You see, you got to learn your ABCs and one, two, three.
Coming back from the break and now with Nanov, please describe for us I love this uh, this piece. It is uh, a horse riding like a jockey, yeah. a horse race yeah. and the pieces. Can you describe for us all the pieces? Oh, so this is a piece from the, the door of a car. Mm -hmm. That's a stethoscope from a part of a set from a doctor. Mm -hmm. This is from a door. Yes. This is uh, from uh, the oil. Yes. What filter? Yes. Um, wow, and this piece is from this. This is from an aeroplane. Aeroplane. Electron, yes. Wow, recycling aeroplane. And yeah. this one, this part is the legs. The legs. This is part from a car. Wow. Um, and the other leg. Um, um, this is a piece of metal I found somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's from a motorbike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see everything. And what is this type of wood? What, what this wood is. This is an old also? window that was going to be burnt, really? and then you know. And the cap. I, the cap, um, pieces of metal, it's from a car actually, so I molded, I, I added oh, things to it. And yeah. the head? It's still from a car. Wow, uh, and the head of the horse? This is from a, a, a this is a door, a door hinge, and a, a body, door lock. the tussle? This is an oil filter oh, from okay. a big truck. So how, Yanni, when you have these pieces, how you imagine this will become like horse? Or? Sometimes I don't know. Um, <laughs> just go just, and work on it. It just works, it just works out. It's yeah. amazing, right. it's amazing. And it's here, so of course, I'm, I'm happy with this one. What is this? What? This is from a um, helicopter. I got some stuff from the Ghana Air Force, so oh, that's yeah, why yeah. you have... I have seen your picture with the aeroplane, the yes. cycling aeroplane, yes. yes? It was really lovely. Yes. And head, head and all this, eyes, uh, eyes. This actually is from uh, the brace from what you hold the television oh, wow. on the wall. And the eye. Oh. The, <laughs> the, the bracket. Eye? Yes. The eye? The eye? And this is from an electronics um, with old VCR. Oh, but this yeah. is a horse with, with only one eye? Or no, 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 finger? that's another eye. But it's different. This one. Yes. It's, it's different. Okay. I, and here's the hair. This is from a rake. Wow. A rake, yeah. Nobody can believe this. A tail? The tail? The tail is when the uh, gear, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The switch from uh, uh, the trafficator, indicator. From a car. Oh, yes. wow. And yeah. uh, uh, what about, uh, what is the pieces from mobile here? Any recycling mobile? From a phone. Mobile. Yes, yeah, yeah they are the electronics, they are here. Here, yeah, this from a mobile here. phone. And I can see also in your uh, uh, trouser you have a mobile. Yes. A piece of mobile. This is your old mobiles. <laughs> um, yes. Give them. Yes. yes. So it's just. This can you looks see like this? Uh, can you have looks a like TV. Yeah. You know, uh, we're losing so the forest. Instead, yeah, instead of changing your mobile, you yeah. just put the pieces of your mobile on your. And yeah. it would be really cool. <laughs> it's really lovely. But uh, also, nobody can use this mobile. Uh, yeah. So, so instead of throwing it away. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, <laughs> we need one for the <laughs> <client. laughs> And maybe we can now go to our uh, fashion designers from Mauritius to see what they have done for for their designs. Um, recyclable. Uh, we've seen you with uh, Papillon, with uh, bow tie, <laughs> with, the bow tie. Uh, with yeah. all the <laughs> things from what TV, old TV, and yeah. all this. There's many, many of these things we are going to share with you uh, with the fashion designers from Mauritius, Dina and Cedric. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure that you will like it very much. The dreams she had in There you go, you've seen the workshop and what the fashion designers are up to as far as sustainable fashion is concerned. Yes, huh? recycling, upcycling, and now we want to invite first the uh, guests mm -hmm. to uh, share with us uh, opinion and the right. feedback about uh, the design. Since uh, uh, we are here, we're talking about sustainable fashion 
and I know that it is a very hot topic also in Mauritius. Yes, yes. So what, what, what do you have about re upcycling, recycling? What do you think about it? Yes, we have, it's our duty as uh, fashion designers yes. because we're closely linked to the textile industry. Mm. So whatever we are designing, we have to think of the impact on the environment, yes. what sort of materials that we are using and promote it. So, and the local industry. And the local the industry local has to understand yes, that. They have yes. to think of the environment friendly aspect or whatever. Design. And what do you do about recycling the old uh, clothes or renting fashion? Yes, and all this what thing? we do, Available? we upcycle. Mm -hmm. And we actually export the scraps and all that as well. Very good. We bring, uh, we do, we we work on different concept of accessories, bags, and okay. Great. And uh, we have like a short to smaller production that we deal with upcycling and recycling Fantastic. fashion wow. and uh, products. Do, do you have uh, renting fashion, like uh, for example, renting uh, wedding dresses? Uh, yes, yes, have, we This have, is very yeah. important as yes, well because yes. it's also reduce uh, the uh, footprint the consumption of consumption and the uh, consumption yes, yes. Of the But do people yes. appreciate this fashion if someone knows, oh, this was made from a damaged cloth? No, it's not damaged cloth. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is recycling. Recycling, yes, recycling yeah. and make maybe a, a, an art Giving piece. a new life to it. Yes, yeah. a new yeah. life to it. Yeah. It's yeah. actually yes. how to, how to uh, um, change your mindset. But yes. It's good this that you said a, that. Yes, yes. yes. but this was a new life. Yes. It's a new life. This is a state of mind because Mauritius is now presented our new tagline is Sustainable Island. Yes, yes. That's yes. why it's on in everything we are doing. Like, yes. you go in a hotel in Mauritius, the Lux Grand Bay just opened. Yeah. They use bagasse yes. for cooking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. You, you see, yeah. everything is being used the, for the Solar sugar. Energy. And, uh, and the yes. bagasse being used in, in the, in, in the wow. hotel energy. industry. Amazing, amazing. And we, uh. we, we, want to, we want to showcase that Mauritius is not only about the beach and the seaside and, <laughs> and no, everything, no. Yeah. it's also the mountains. Yes, it's yeah. the, the forest and you know you, you, we have so many eco-friendly places, places where yeah. uh, we can we can we can uh, and this is what we want to create tourists. also in the rest of Africa to mm -hmm. have this mindset and uh, uh, when you when you do something use or recycle or upcycle yes. it's a new life mm -hmm. it's a new it's life, a new life and it is saving environment so you're mm -hmm. contributing to society as well mm -hmm. so there is no shame about it mm -hmm. to use use clothes yeah. at all yeah. or uh, upcycling your old clothes for you or your friend or your family yeah. it is actually your contribution to society mm. and it is your uh, uh, rule to do that it's a it's shared it's responsibility we say sustainability is a shared responsibility yes. right. it's a question of education also yes. it's a question of education yes. it should yes. start very early the early childhood to, to in show schools what, yes, and all yes. so let us uh, invite the, the, uh, our uh, designers yeah. Cedric and I know that you are uh, into sustainable fashion and recycling, upcycling. So can you give us an idea? So this coat, because I mean, focus is this coat, was made from repurposed material. Uh, from what, sorry? Leftovers materials, yeah. yes, old stuff. Uh, but from, you see how beautiful it is. Yeah, yes. we, uh, it's Fabian Fozu with whom I'm working, who is an expert in the patching work. Patching work. So we make it So all this, for example, an old... Uh, it's from a uh, skirt. Skirt and this? It was just some leftover. Yeah, and here also. <laughs> and this also. And this. And from someone gave it to us. So we just pick everything. It's a new life. And it was give it a new very life. small and chic. part. And, and chic. it's yeah. chic. And we cut it to make this whole... Chic, ensemble. unique, stylish, uh, stylish and uh, sustainable <laughs> and protecting the environment yeah. and recycling, upcycling new life. And maybe and things you have experience with, because sometimes I have a lot of clothes that I have memory with. Oh. And I, I had a fantastic sentimental value for it. Yes. But it is not fitting me for size or yes. it is old or has the, the, uh, yeah, it's got an, uh, a damage yeah, or anything. Damage, yeah. So if I make an, a, a coat or a cardigan or a skirt or something with it, I it. carry the experience, yeah. I carry the memory. And, and the you same give time, it a new birth, too. New yes, birth. Yes. instead of throwing it. Now we have Dina, Dina. from Mauritius. Wow. <laughs> yes, wow, wow, Dina, wow. tell us about tell the us dress. Tell us about the dress. So uh, this is actually a fabric that I saw and yes. I wanted to use it's upholstery fabric. It's what, sorry? Upholstery fabric, yes. but he used to do furnishing. Oh. And I bought it and then the idea just came in my head because it looks a bit like jute. And like, I want to do a blaze on this. And it had just a small piece, so I had to design based on how and small, what yeah. a small piece that I have. And I just saw that the fringes were looking so nice. What about sustainability? Uh, what, what did because you apply? Jute, because yeah. uh, it looks like jute fabric, which can be done in... When you think jute fabric, you just think about furnishing. When you can yes. do so much stuff 
from leftover fabric. And it's ah, really so it's the leftover fabric from yeah. from furnishing. furnishing. And what is the reference it's here? It's recycling. It's glam. Recycling, glam. It's glam. It's um, actually it is glam here. Actually, the sky is the limit. You can create, 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 and recreate, and re-innovate, and recycle, and upcycle. It's beautiful. Thank you, Dina. Thank you very much. You can call Cedric. And we can call also Nanov. Yes. And now we are designers from uh, Mauritius. So we have designers from Mauritius and from Ghana. I am from Egypt and Brian from Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. So we have a Ban African uh, <laughs> <laughs> platform today. And we're talking about sustainability and sustainable fashion and decoration. Mm. Sustainability is a shared responsibility. responsibility. It's all our responsibility to recycle, to upcycle, to protect the environment to protect our uh, earth and reduce the carbon footprint. Yes. Right. Change the mindset, right. change the mindset. It is a glam, right. yes. it's a glam, yes. it is style yeah. to be sustainable. Reuse, use clothes is not a shame or a shame. taboo. It is yep. actually a, a way forward yes. mm -hmm. and it is a responsibility and it is a glam and a style. Fantastic. Absolutely. So, yeah. uh, yeah. jump Ryan? onto our socials yes. and uh, tell us what you're doing in your communities as your far ideas? as sustainability is concerned. Go to our uh, socials and see all the categories of awards that we have film, song, uh, media recognition, fashion, and, fashion and uh, contribute and register and also the different um, medical professionals whose lives have changed scholarship. out of the scholarship, yeah, scholarship from Mark Foundation. Submit at merc-foundation.com yes. and also send us your ideas about sustainability and how we recycle and upcycle and we are waiting for you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye, -bye. If we want to change the world, education is the key. You see, you gotta learn your ABCs and one, two, three. It starts with you. You wanna get smart, build up that passion. Welcome to our Africa TV show. If she had our resources, 
She'd write a book full of stories. With the CEO of Mark Foundation Center, Dr. Rasha Kellej. Stabon child mama said school was never meant for us. So there is no shame about it to use used clothes no. at all. Yeah. We say sustainability is a shared responsibility.